And I'm Dana Winkle Plack. Well, after the passing of Vigo County Sheriff John Plassey, members of the community have been sharing memories of just how much the longtime law enforcement officer meant to their life. Garrett Drake spoke with local leaders who say the community has lost a great man. Garrett. Yeah, Plassey's friends and co-workers say that Sheriff Plassey accomplished more in public service than many people could dream of. However, his greatest accomplishment was the positive impact he had on those around him. As the Wabash Valley mourns the loss of Vigo County Sheriff John Plassey, those who worked with him are honoring a man that left a lasting legacy of service, kindness, and leadership. The advancements that we made from the beginnings uh, to where it is now is uh, largely a part of him. Uh, not to mention just being the, the leader that he was. He had a presence about him, a command presence. Uh, when he entered a room, you knew he was in the room, and you, you knew he was the guy in charge in the room. Uh, so everybody looked to follow him, and he, doesn't, he didn't hesitate to lead when given the opportunity. Sheriff Plassey inspired those that worked with him, but his character also also reached the younger generation and he often took an interest and showed care to the families of his peers as well. Having a daughter that really looked up to John and um, he was always so gracious to her, always took the time to spend some time with her and she's 10. Uh, they first met when she was five and uh, just that conversation he had with her at a young age but giving her his undivided attention. Sheriff Plassey spent over 30 years in local law enforcement and the Indiana Army National Guard. He became chief of police in Terre Haute in 2008 and Vico County Sheriff in 2018. I couldn't thank him enough for the things that are lessons that I've learned from him. Uh, just by being an example or setting the example or holding me accountable when I needed to be held accountable. Uh, he's a very compassionate man, but it was obviously capable and uh, putting you on the right course if it needed to be to fit the mission of the city police or even the sheriff's department. Public visitation for Plassey will be held on Monday from noon to 2 p.m. at Holman Center with a funeral service immediately after. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Garrett. The